Welcome to Kia Kia. Say hi, Elder Superman. Hello. <laughs> this is Kia Kia. We usually eat lunch here. Alan Alan is right out the doors, but it's not showing up on the camera. And we eat lunch here, and Elder Call hates this place because there's usually lots of flies. You can't even see any right now. Oh, there's some on the table over there. But I, I'm just like, there's flies everywhere, so why does it matter? Every restaurant here has flies in it. That's it. You can feel them though. Cool. Yeah, we can feel them. Hey, these are church birds, and if you eat them, then you get healed from medicine. And these dudes are out here catching them in the field, and we talked to them. I stopped and asked if he'd ever fallen into the rice field. <laughs> That's so sweet. Today is a good day. Ladies and gentlemen, I just got the shirt and pants back from the tailor, and they kind of fit. The shirt's, I don't know what he did to it, but it feels kind of weird. Maybe it's because I haven't worn a shirt that fits in a while. Elder Supanaba is looking like a G with his sweater. And we're gonna go kill it today. And I got a package this morning. So that was pretty sweet. I'm so stoked to decorate Christmas tonight. Let's go! Let's go, Jasper! Woo! Hey, hello. Kami sekarang ada di sawah. Kami mau proslet di sawah. Yes, we're at the rice field and we want to proslet in the rice field. <laughs> Is uh Another regular day here in Magalang. Woo! Ah. Ya, yeah. hari ini, siang ini kami mendapatkan musibah. Ya, yeah, itu rekan saya sendiri, Elder Scofield. Hey, uh, I crashed my bike. Can I see this? This thing just like draped, blew out into the middle of the road and grabbed my bike and then made it so I just like flew right over the handlebars and all the buttons came off my shirt and I'm just like, I hope there's just a cut on my chin. Sweet, did you see it? Yeah. Under Lee Huddy too? No, saying Ali Well, my bike is still looking fresh, so I guess that's good. Welcome to the vlog today. This week was pretty sweet. Um, it started. How did it start? Oh, okay. So this week we had splits and solo. So Tuesday we had we worked for half the day, and then the second half of the day we rode a bus for four, almost four hours, three and a half hours. To solo just like last time, and we rode all the way there. Then we slept over, and then me and Otis Smith went on a split, and it was super dope. And damn cool. And then we rode the bus back Friday morning, and then we only had half the day to work on Friday, and. So we're like rolling out, and we had to do weekly planning too. So we got home, and we did weekly planning, and then we're rolling out at like three o'clock to work. We just we got back at like one thirty, like one fifteen. Got back around there. We ate lunch, and we did weekly planning, and we're like, okay, let's roll. And we didn't even we're just didn't have any appointments. We're just like we're gonna find some people, and so. We went out, we found two new families, and we were like, yes, that was super awesome. We found two new families, and then we went to one of, we went to Pa Andreas, one of the people that we've been teaching. We went there, and we gave them a lesson, and then we committed them to get baptized. And then they were like, yes, we want to get baptized. And so their date right now is December 24th, but it's probably going to get moved back because... December 24th was the only Sunday I could think of, and that's kind of close. Because I give them, we committed them on Friday, so that was the 24th, so exactly a month away. That's like super quick. And they bailed on us for church. We were like, 
dang, they were like all stoked to come to church and then we called them Saturday night and Sunday morning and they're just like, no, we can't come. The, we're renovating our house right now so we have to clean it. And I'm like, this is bull crap. Like, come on, <laughs> why? I didn't come to church and that was sad. And no one came to church. So we had no one at church, which kind of stuck. But we found those two new families and they're on date, which is good. So we just need to figure out how to get them to church next week. Jeez, if they could ever come to church. Um, uh, other than that, oh, I crashed my bike on Saturday. That was funny. <laughs> I already have a video on here about it, but that, that was an experience. Maybe I can show you my shirt. I crashed my bike. Not this shirt. So this is the shirt. It just got wrecked. It's like torn up. And then all the buttons came off. Just like destroyed. Now my belt's looking kind of sad. It scraped up my belt, but it's like not super, not super bad. Because my tie didn't get wrecked. It wasn't like a super red crash, but I looked kind of funny riding my bike around with my shirt flying open after. Um, what else is going on? Oh, mom and dad, you wanted to see like what the house looked like? closets in there. This is from Elder Call. We decorated for Christmas. Oh, I got that package from Maddie on Saturday and so I put up that's from Maddie. Some st stickers. Me and Elder Call like put all of our decorations up. Oh, here's our Christmas fan. Boom. Me and Elder Call's presents. The room other calls a ton. The lights are mine, and then these like other call got this stuff. It's like a bunch of Christmas cards. It's kind of cool. And then we're waiting to put these. We're gonna buy a tree today. The tree is like super cheap. We're gonna replace the fan with a tree, so I can put my tinsel on the tree and these little guys. An elder call can put this on the tree. It's gonna be dope. Got Christmas all decorated here. Dang, I should hang up my pants. Um, nope, this is the closet, mom and dad. My pull up bar. This is the kitchen kitchen is just trash like we have this weird stove top and a garbage sink and the water only works if so the water works but the water only works if the water in here is not on oh shoot we're really got of water this is how you shower grab this bucket just hold it in front of your face just like Sit here and you just hold this bucket full of water right here for like a solid two minutes before you like hit it. And you have to just pour some freezing cold water on your head every single morning. Normally Indonesians like to shower twice a day, but our companions won't even shower twice a day here because the water's so cold. It's awful. This is the front room. Showing up the bikes. All the shoes. And then this is upstairs. The stairs are like super weird. I never go up there. That's where other call and other student under duck study. Um can't think of anything else for the week. The highlight was definitely getting those take hots on Friday, which is super dope. I'm stoked that we got them. The on date. On date. But they didn't come to church, which is definitely frustrating. 
But this place is sweet. It's all decorated for Christmas. Almost. We're gonna get a tree. It's not expensive at all. If you're thinking that we're dropping hot cash on a tree, we're not dropping hot cash on a tree. We saw a tree, it was 74000 So how much is that? That's like, not even $10, it's like $5. It's a nice tree, maybe like this tall. Nice little tree, we'll decorate it. It'll be sweet. Maybe we'll, we'll get lights for it if it's not too expensive. Yep. Those are the decorations getting ready to go on there. Um, anything else? No, I think that's about it for the week. And you are well, thank you for joining me on the uh, this house tour today on HGTV. And Oh shoot, I'll show you guys this. So I, when I crashed my bike, so like my white shirt got wrecked, completely destroyed. The pants, so I just got the pants back from the tailor and the shirt too, the shirt just got tailored too. So like the pants and the shirt were actually fitting. They weren't like ginormous. The pants, like not so bad. There's a little hole right here now, but the shirt totally wrecked. I already showed you guys that. Then, my belt got all scruffed up. I was like, dang, my belt's all sad. Which totally sucks, because this belt, I don't know why I brought this belt on my mission. I love this belt, because it matches my freaking dope shoes at home. It's like all scruffed up now, it's totally sad. Hey, mom and dad, when you're watching this, if I haven't already emailed you about it, and you're at Mr. Mac, and they st still have a belt like this that matches my shoes, can you just like, pick that up for me so I still have the matching belt for my shoes at home. Is it right? Now, that belt is gonna get wrecked. I'm gonna f try and fix it today. I'm gonna shine it up, my shoe shine up here. Which should make it look much better, but it's like, it's just looking sad right now. Super sad. That's about it for the week though. Oh, this is our workout equipment. Got some nice dumbbells. They're garbage. This is like, how much? It's like five pounds. I don't remember. Oh, 11 pounds. I'm gonna get huge. And then we have those little dinky push-up things. And then there's a super short Indonesian jump rope, which, okay, I don't know, I don't know anyone that could use it. Like, you have to be shorter than 5'5 five, five to use that jump rope. Um, oh, those. I might as well explain this, because I'm just, like, walking around the house. These are, like, little mattress pad things that... We throw on the floor so the zone leaders came on. So Otter Smith and Otter Booty, they came on Tuesday to s just because they wanted to come to our district training meeting. So they, they threw those on the floor so they could sleep here. Like, those things are crazy gross. Like, they used to be right there when Elder Steven and Elder Shadi were here. And Elder Shadi just lay on it all the time. It was just a super nasty, it's a super nasty mattress. Who knows how long it's been here. Never been cleaned, guaranteed. And just utter shoddy, sweaty body laying on that mattress all the time. Just super gross. <laughs> but as soon as other shoddy and other Steven moved, me and other call were like, boom, we picked them up off the ground right here and we put them in the closet. And now this room's way bigger, but those mattresses are still gross. Um, that's about it. That's a, another long vlog. I've kind of given up trying on to upload it and just put this SD card in the mail and send it over to the good old United States of America where dang that's just I was trying to think of like something clever to say but I ran out there's just too many great things about America it's just whatever point is 
Thank you for watching the vlog today. If you, dang, if you watched 12 minutes of me rambling, walking around this house, thank you for watching. And see you next week, ladies and gentlemen.